Okay, so as I begin to slowly connect dots for myself, I want to be certain to share that with the rest of you because, you know, I'd previously shared the inner awakening, um, the spiritual awakening that's associated very much so with the Morgellons and the way I chose to view it. And I also shared with y'all the link with the scientific mumbo jumbo that I don't quite understand all the jargon there, but I do feel I understand its implications to say the least. Um, with that said, I just came across another link and this kind of goes along with the spiritual awakening. Really for me, it does. Um, and as well as the no junk DNA, which feel free to check out my no junk DNA playlist. Um, is that I honestly do feel that the Morgellons as well as the spiritual awakening are definitely tied in with one another. And it's led me to so many things at this point in connecting the dots. Um, after sharing the scientific mumbo jumbo link, I just came across this one that I'm going to put down below. And, um, all I can say is, wow, it's like the synchronicities are so amazing. And I just feel like I'm being guided to those answers. Once I, you know, turn away from looking at things in a negative light and just focus on the positive and pray for that guidance, you truly do get the synchronicities and the guidance. Um, with that said, yes, I still feel Morgellons is secretly a blessing. Truly it is. Um, and I was saying how Morgellons led me to a dark place and caused me to turn inward before the spiritual awakening. Well, the link I'm going to share with you guys goes into that looking within yourself. So I think it's important to, p to point out um because once again, so many are so busy trying to fight more guns rather than understand that um, it could possibly be a secret way of helping us to um, transform into the divine light bodies that we truly are. Anyway, um, so no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share that with you guys. Um, Hopefully this helps anybody because um, I know how challenging it can be to be afflicted with more gallons. Um, and I understand the frustration and the pain. So um, I'm learning that it teaches us to be way showers and light workers. I'm finding that most that are afflicted in some form or fashion have found their strength to endure it. And the most positive light that they can, despite the affliction, and to learn to be guides, teachers, and way showers to help others around them, despite it. So, um, I hope this is encouraging to anybody. Um, I'm going to post the link down below once again. I hope that it can possibly help anybody else along their journey. Even if it only helps one, it was worth it for me to post this. So... Much love as always, Nugglebug, a.k.a. Angel. Much love to all.